also like them, and what they do, what comes of them. Anything is possible at Mars Bar. You can be any Adam and Eve. You can be probably on Mars Bar. The untethered is no one on Mars Bar. Welcome. My strength. Welcome to Mars Bar. Welcome. This is my stream. Welcome to my stream. Welcome to my stream. What's up, everyone? Bradley Jack Design here. A couple weeks later. Welcome back to another lovely day of designing. Well, another lovely Tuesday. Uh, today, you know, I was trying to figure out what to do on the stream today. So, you know, I just happened to find all these super dope photos of Obi Toppin in the uh, All Star Games. So ba -ba 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 basketball. We're going to go ahead and do something with those. I went ahead and edited these already, so we don't have to waste the time to do that. Let me just make a quick couple tweaks to that. Pop back here. All right, so we got a bunch of stuff going on here, but all in all, we're gonna do something cool with Obi Toppin uh, because I am his fan base. <laughs> um, so here's what we got going on. I can show you these photos. We got this photo here. We got this photo of him. Uh, I got this photo of him. What's up, Kevin? Got that guy. And I got this guy as well. So there's a lot of good photos to choose from. Um, I want to use this one as the main one because I think it's the highest quality one. So first things first, let's make a quick new guide from layout. I was making some ads, so I had to make it like this. Uh, two rows, two columns, margins. Let's do 100 pixels. 100 pixels, 100 pixels, 100 pixels. All right. I'm going to set this to 100%. Now it's full size. You can already tell I'm going to have a fun day. Uh, for some reason, this isn't just when I stream. Like, my Photoshop's real weird. Like this bounding box didn't show up, but if I zoom in, zoom out, kind of bizarre. So we'll have that there. Oh, I also have uh, a cutout of the Dunk Champion trophy. I have just the globe on the inside and I have the trophy itself. So we may do something with either one of these. Um, what I'm gonna do first real quick is we're gonna tweak this so we can see behind it. So let's put this in front of Obi. So that's pretty good. Let's duplicate it and just set it to screen. Uh, and then we'll duplicate it again. We'll actually make a new smart object via copy. Turn off the blending mode. 
I uh, didn't want to do that. We're going to replace it. I'm going to replace it with the, the globe. Because what that's going to allow us to do is basically have it on top so it's untouched. Because it's too bright right now. Uh, let's find it real quick. I mean, let's, I mean, me. I said that's normal. Maybe that's not bright enough. Maybe it does need to be like that. So here's the trophy. Trophy. Oops. So, you know, we can put that somewhere. Let me lock these guides, actually. So, you know, we can do something clean where this is at the bottom. You know, kind of like this. Something like that. I don't know. He's dump, dump, jumping over it. If you guys have any ideas, you know, let me know what we think. Um, let me grab the actual thing here. Uh, but basically, we can create a composition with... This is the main focus. So I'm just going to blow this up, actually, to be, like, huge. Or not. I'm going to blow this up like that. And I'm actually going to turn this to its own smart object. And that's mainly so it looks like this. Yeah, man, I saw you comment about that. Uh, I'll probably do another sports card design soon. I mean, really, it's just a specific ratio, and then we can kind of toss it into any of these uh, cool things I've got going on. So what I kind of like is, you know, I like the idea of him jumping over this dunk champ trophy. So I'm going to make that 100%. Turn that into a smart object and then blow it up. So maybe he's jumping over this. So we'll just like duplicate this, toss it on top like that. Now we're jumping over it, which is, you know, kind of fun. Uh, maybe we add a, a shadow there at some point in time. So let me just duplicate this again, actually. Take this back one. We'll give it a color overlay of like that. And then we'll. Blur it, I don't know, 15% or 15 pixels. We'll just kind of go like that. Turn that into a smart object, multiply it, set it to like, I don't know, 50%. So it looks like that. That's kind of, that's kind of good. Uh, so then we got these guys. This guy I'm going to put up here in the top left hand corner because he just sort of fits there I maybe mean, he's going out this way i don't think it would make sense if he was coming in like this everything's going to be coming out from the center on purpose so then out of these two i don't know which is better because these are going to be about the same size like that's pretty nice but is that as nice as this i think this photo is a little awkward i think i'm gonna use this one This is sort of the composition we're setting up. You know, maybe this OB is just like really small. So we can go like that. You know, just like a fun composition, sort of like this. Maybe we toss the trophy uh, back here. Zoom out, blow it up. Just kind of like that, you know? I don't know. I'm trying to trying to find some balance right now. What we're going to need to do is uh, tweak these photos. So like the outer two you can see are much more orange. So we need to fix this front one. Uh, so I'm going to hide this light because we're going to have to tweak it anyway. So I'm going to go to selective color. We're going to boost the reds. We're going to boost the yellows. We're going to add a lot of yellow to the reds. Which is going to make it more orange. Already looks better already. And then maybe we do a little bit of the curves. Little curves layer. Brighten it up a bit. But we only want it to brighten up sort of the dark spots. So we want the underlying layer. We don't want it to look like that. Actually, we want this to go a lot further. I'm glad this is working. 
I don't know what's going on with my Photoshop earlier. Anytime I tried to use Blend If, it just froze up on me, like hardcore. I think it's a little too much. Drop that down. Look like that. Yeah, I tested before this. I made, I just did a quick unlisted stream and they just worked today. So like, I don't know, no idea. Um, but I knew they, I know they're working. So I was happy to see that. So we got the, we got the fun gifs back. So what I want to do is I really want to make like the whole thing brighter overall. I'm really just trying to match it to this bottom right hand photo. And it's close. I mean, you can see how much more pixelated it is. What if I just set this to like 50%? They're not far off. I think his skin is a little off. It sounded weird. We can probably just darken this one up a little bit. Oops, hold on. I had OBS open. Now comes the, the jittery parts for no reason. Let's put him back here. Let's brighten this up. Uh, curves. I'm going to brighten this up a decent amount. And I could probably do this in camera raw too instead, but we'll just do it here. I don't want this layer. I want this layer and like that. And I should probably be able to see what I'm doing here. I really just want to brighten up that bottom area. So I think that, that might help with this. I think that's decent. I'm gonna turn this into a smart object so I can toss it up on here like that and then we've got the leg back in place. So, what do we wanna do now? I was trying to think of what we can do. Like, we do a lot of lighting pieces. This is more like a collage, so maybe we'll do something really collage -y. You know, we could do like a Trapper Keeper, like a, like a folder. Like an old 3M folder or something like that. Let me search 90s sports folder Mead. Mead is a company that makes all of these folders and stuff. I'm just gonna search 90s Trapper Keeper. Yeah, this is what I want. This is this is what we're looking for. Nostalgia. So really we could do something cool like this. A lot of textures in the background. You know, a lot of animal textures. Um, Lisa Frank stuff. <laughs> For those who grew up in the 90s, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We could probably even make it a Trapper Keeper. Let's go to Envato. We'll see if Envato has anything on here. Answer it won't. But if they had, like, for some reason, a trapper keeper. It's all trapper hats. Like a trapper keeper template, that'd be hilarious. So I think if we did something like this in the background, it'd be cool. So they do just, like, a lot of, like, random shapes and stuff. a lot of really really hard edges i think we need to find specific things to do for that to make it work but i really just want to put like a bunch of these textures in the background you know what's up chris it's like the question when i'm what if i'm coming up with a background like that it's like how is it how are they going to be done you know um let me see, let me grab a New York Nick logo real quick. I think we can use that as a way to guide where we want breakups in the piece to be. Um, I just need to find a Nick's logo standing. So I'm just going to go to NBA.com and then right click this and hit open image and new tab slash drag this to my desktop. Oh, Nick's logo. 
Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to toss this Nyx logo up top. We're going to delete this. We're going to hide all this stuff. We're going to focus on like our, the, the background of this theoretically. So, you know, we can go like this. I think if, I think we want to have a little bit of You know, I'm just looking at these lines. See where these lines go. See where they take us. Like, I like this down here. This black section, I think, looks really nice. What's up, Tyler? Welcome to the stream. I'm going to move this over a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a new layer and just fill it with white. And then I'm going to mask it to this this group. So now we have this, which looks kind of cool. Yeah, it's been two weeks since I've done a stream, which for me is actually way too long, way too long away. Uh, but I've had way too much client work to deal with and, you know, got to pay the bills. So uh, let's just grab orange and toss this to the bottom. So what does this look like? Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, so we're just like making, I'm just like moving this Nyx logo around to just make these random lines. And what we're going to theoretically use these for are placeholders or some sort of texture and or pattern. So let's get rid of that. Where can this go? What if this is behind that? Oops, that's inside. Like right now, like I don't know, I'm just like messing around. Like I don't know what I'm theoretically like doing. But now we have something that looks like this. So now we can add things to this. So let's go to Envato because Envato has to have Like animal print, animal print, animal print. Okay, thank you stock video of something stupid. Female pretty in cardigan, thank you. It's exactly what I wanted. Ridiculous. Let me search 90s animal print. Cause that would be even better. No. Like, this is nice. We'll download this. Vector animal print. Okay, so what we're going to do... I'm going to turn this into a smart object. We're going to select this. We're going to modify the selection. Because we're going to contract it like 100 pixels. Like that. And we're going to make a new layer. It's going to fill it with blue. Just want to make this like a border. So we'll go like this. This just gives me a good sort of idea of where 100 pixels is. Uh, let's go back here. Oh gosh. Okay. So then I can subtract this. Now it's actually not too bad of a, not too much of an issue. Great. We'll fill that in with blue. We're gonna and prank the heck out of this. There was a girl I used to work with when I right out of college and she wanted me to make her like an Anne Frank inspired like phone background. And I don't remember if she wanted it with like her on it or or what. Needless to say, I never made it. Okay, so we got like a nice edge there. So let's pull up this trapper keeper. So you see here, it's got like, here's like this edge and you know, here's these cool edge and colors and lots of gradients. So we'll include that as well. It's still downloading that, so that's not a problem. Uh, let's add a border to this. Let's just turn this into a thing. We'll copy it, select, modify. We'll just contract 50 pixels this time. It's further, it's in the back. So theoretically it would um, be have a smaller line because it's in the back. 
Uh, this kind of budges up like that. This one's going to be a lot easier to do this. Bing, bang, boom. Let's get up. Snuff that girl. All right, let's do this one too. Uh, select, mm, modify, contract. I did 50, let's do 75 right in the middle. Great, good, great, grand, wonderful. Uh, let's fill this, new layer, fill. Let's go down here, deselect all, avoid the pen pool and click on the polygonal lasso tool. You guys having a good Tuesday? Did you guys watch the wonderful dunk contest? Like, people could not complain about it anymore because all of these cool dunks that happened in the past, people aren't doing things that aren't those dunks. Uh, is that this? I need to fix this. That's not how we, that's not how you do this, Brad. Whoop, okay. Hold on, do I have snap to on? Hold on, let me not snap to guides. That's the issue here. Is it snap to the guide so I can fix this because it's not going to snap to the guide now? I think it actually goes like this. Delete, invert, brush, blue, 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 blue. Yeah, I saw what happened to Jawan Howard. Uh, big yikes. This is when I insert some sort of slide at Michigan just because I live in Ohio. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's not good. Can't be doing that when your team is trying to make the conference or make the tournament. Okay, that looks weird. Hold on. Ah, I have the pen tool. I don't want the pen tool up. Big yikes. All right, there we go. Whatever. New layer. Fill. Convert that to a smart object. Right now would be a good time Save to... Ads. OB Design best dunker ever. Sure. Okay, so we've got just like... This random abstract thing. Now we're going to go here... And we're going to apply some animal print to it. Animal prints. Why is there PSD? So they have them in color gold and pink. And the original are just transparent backgrounds. So this is what we have. So I don't know if this is the issue with this is like, is, is this, I want it, I want it to be, um, okay, it is repeatable. That's good. Howard, thank you for the, for the $5 donation. I really appreciate that. It's like the reason people would like, it would be fun to like stream on Twitch is because like people like know how to do that. And like what to do for things like that not so much here so i appreciate it i also need to have a i don't have like a dono thing because i don't think anyone i thought was gonna anyone was gonna do that so i don't have a stinger for that i gotta make one now all right so we got this ob tiger print here which doesn't make any sense except that it's a 90s baby thing so we are going to add a gradient overlay to this You know, I have this like gold setup from something I was working on earlier, but like it kind of looks okay. Like that looks fun. Uh, we're gonna put the same overlay on this, except that looks bad. So we're gonna do multiply. And I think I've got a silver in here. We should just make it darker. Yeah, we'll do silver. Um, and then we'll do something else, you know, like this cheetah print. We're probably, we're probably gonna duplicate 
these prints a lot. So let's toss this over here, match it up, combine them. I don't know, rotate it a little bit, and let's drop that right here. Like this looks just, this just looks weird, like in the best way possible. So I'm gonna group these together and we're gonna give this just a blanketed drop shadow. We're gonna change color burn to multiply. Um, and then we're gonna do 100%. Size, no distance zero, size, we're just gonna hit up a bunch. Um, and then figure out what we actually want this to look like. Let's do like 66% and let's make this like steep. We'll up the spread a little bit and then drop this down to like 42. So there, and we'll do that for all of these. So we'll group this together, drop that there. We'll group this together. We'll drop that there. And then we'll change the background color to be just blue or white, you know, that's what I hit. Blue, okay, great. Um, this layer on top, this white layer is going to be this a uh, rainbow. Let's just give this a nice gradient overlay of, see, I hate this. Like, where, where am I? You know, where the good, these are all the exact same. Where's, where am I? Here it is. I was like, where's my rainbow color? 900. It's not what I wanted at all. Um, 90. It doesn't look too bad, but I want like the actual other colors to show up. So let's do negative 90 and hit normal. Oh, I set it to 0%. See, I don't think that works either. Let's just hit this. I really want, oops. I want it to really showcase like the full rainbow. So really what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna make a new layer I'm gonna put it on top of it. We're just gonna find that gradient. And we're just gonna manually put it on here like this. And then it shows the whole rainbow. Perfect. So what's on top of that? Some weird print? Okay. Um, we did cheetah. This is like a turtle. It's fish. Here we go. We'll do a giraffe print on top of that. I could probably set this to be like a pattern. Can I do that? Hold on, image or edit, define pattern. Oh no, that's bad, hold on. I think if I go like this, I can go to image, define pattern, wrap. And if I go back here, I think I can just Combine these together, turn it into a smart object, and hit pattern overlay. And then I go in here and I select the pattern we just made. And there, that's what it is. Scale it down. I want like 10%. I don't want like 10%. There. You can't really tell it's a pattern there. So that's good. Uh, the orange is gonna get what now? Oops, just deleted that. It's so, like, I like this like funky thing here, which I can probably make. Let's see, um, new, new thing. Let's try this. We've done this before in the stream, so we'll see if I can get it to work and look good here. I want, uh, let's do, I mean, I'm, uh, I want an easily readable condensed font. I don't want Dharma, because I use that on everything, but I kind of want Dharma. We'll just use Dharma, 300. I've been doing large scale stuff and it's funny to max out how large type can be. So like maxing out type to be 1260, uh, it's kind of fun. Okay, 
we need this to be like under 40. Drop this down, kind of like that. Sure, that's fine. Convert this to a smart object. Convert to smart object. I don't think I have the... I don't think I have the image anymore, but if we go to Unsplash and we search water, we're just gonna make a uh, displacement map. Oh, this one's gonna be real good. We'll download this. We'll toss this up here. I think I have an action somewhere to turn this into a displacement map. I think. I don't remember. Did I make one? I got a bunch of just like random crap in here. So with stream ones, I made a bunch during the stream. No idea. Yeah, my stingers are working. They weren't working last week. So I'm glad they are because they're the, the reason to um, watch the stream. Uh oh. Of course I hit one and it doesn't work. Um, we want to convert this to a smart object. I don't know why it's not letting me convert to smart object. Double click. We're going to just toss a... It's going to turn it black and white. I want a lot of contrast. So we're going to pull these guys in. It's going to hit OK. Uh, we're going to combine these together. And I'm just going to blur them. I can't do that. i got to turn this to filter, Gaussian blur, three pixels. Oh, you thought it was the Calming Casino, the Gazino music, um, as I will say. And everything is a large format document now for me these days because everything is large format document. So I had someone ask me on a video, so like, this is 8-bit. So if I go to image mode, it's 8-bit, which is good. If it's 16-bit, you won't, this won't work. So you just got to make sure it's uh, the right bits. So I'm just going to blow this text up, actually, just a little bit like that. And we're going to filter, displace, distort, displace, with a displacement map. Displacement map. I'm going to do 50, and we're going to grab our displacement, and it's going to make it look like that. So that's good. That's what I want. But I don't want this dumb... So we're just going to type OB Toppin is the best damn dunker in the league, and he won the contest there so we'll save that and go back and then it's going to automatically displace it so then we have that going on so that's good but i need that's why i wanted a different font because it's not offset enough like i i want the spacing to be the same so it doesn't look like it's text It's so like, this is good. Let's just add, there, we'll just convert this to a smart object. Copy it, come back here, and we're gonna paste it right here. So all we did that for was for this texture right here, but that's what we wanted. That's what it kind of looks like on this Trapper Keeper. So, boom, sounds great. We can put some text down here probably based on what we have going on, uh, but let's add some more texture to this. So the front, uh, this blue, we're just going to add a gradient overlay of black and white. So we're going to do black and white. Uh, we're going to do 90. So it's, we're going to do neg negative, negative 90, like I said. So it's straight up and down. Um, I actually like overlay for that. Yeah, it makes it look light, light or dark. I usually set it to 50%. I think that looks nice. We'll just do that. I think that'll be good. Um... Let's go back to our random textures. So we did this already. We didn't do fish. Like this is nice though. Like these bigger spots. Uh, this whole thing is a drop shadow, so it's like super broken. Oh, but we learned uh, we learned we can do a thing. So we'll just go to image, edit, define pattern, Jaguar, save, uh, delete this. And then in our gradient overlay, we can do gradient overlay and then we can do a pattern overlay that looks like this. And then we can just select Jaguar. 
A jaguar. Perfect. That looks good. That's exactly what I wanted. So this is going to be like super 90s themed, so we can really go hardcore with some of the textures, which is what we're going to do. I just need to figure out what I want to do with that white part. Oh, is there a Trapper Keeper in here? Trapper Keeper. No? That's kind of surprising. Trapper Keeper. If you don't know what a Trapper Keeper is, by the way, it is basically a folder with Velcro on it that you can hold your papers in. And it was awesome. So I can do something like this with like some lines. That would be kind of nice. Like this has a faint texture in it. I think that's what might be missing. Um, I'm just going to add a pattern overlay to this. Pat, Pat turn. My friend Pat took a turn. I'll just use the same pattern overlay, but then I'll set the scale to like 10. That's fine. That's pulling weight. That's pulling away too much from it. Uh, what color is this on? Orange? Let's just make this another color. Like we're in charge. So this is just that line. So let's, I don't know, let's make it, let's make it a rainbow. Cause it's not gonna be on another rainbow, right? We'll just make it a rainbow. Boom. Oh, we can make it a pastel rainbow on accident. That wouldn't be a bad idea. 45 degree pastel rainbow. Yeah, that actually kind of fits pretty well. Um, back here. Okay, what I actually want to do is I want to kill these drop shadows because I don't want these drop shadows. Drop shadows are gone. What I want is I want to give everything a stroke around the edge. We're gonna do an out, outside edge stroke of a color and the color is black. So everything's gonna have a thick black line of like 25 pixels. I'll just do 20 pixels. Cause that sort of matches what's going on here. Big, big black line. So we're gonna go like that. Uh, we're just gonna to toss it on everything. You get a big black stroke. You get a big black stroke. Everyone gets a big black stroke. Even you guys in the middle here. Uh, this one. I'm like staring at, there's so many effects. I'm like, what doesn't have it? This one. There, so now we have this cool looking thing. I think we just need something going on back here that looks cool, but let's see what this looks like on top of it. So it doesn't match at all. You see how much brighter it is. So we can fix that. Um, I'm gonna make this just like 10% bigger. I think it's gonna look cool though, what we're trying to go for with these vibes. It's just, it's just vibes, just all vibes. I think that would look nice back here actually so where is the back it's just the background okay we're gonna make a new layer i'm gonna grab just fuchsia or purple and we're just gonna toss purple on top like this yeah i think that looks good i should probably use the nyx orange just because so i might do that let's do that instead nyx orange going up like that it just doesn't flow as nice because it's not um, it's not a cold color. I think that's the issue. It's not analogous. I need an analogous color. That's design school teaching there. Teach for you. All right, save this. Okay, so what we're gonna do in the background is I'm on, gonna already go up here and use the color lookup uh, 19, uh, 2395 by Adobe. Cause it's going to do that and that is going to kill a lot of the contrast and it's going to make it blend in a little bit better with this already actually i pretty much did it so that's actually pretty sweet let's take the nyx logo and actually toss it in the back here and just like make it make it so you can actually see the nyx logo 
So I think that actually kind of makes a little bit of sense. Nick's logo. We'll probably get rid of this then. Yeah, it just says Nick's. Um, we'll put a layer on top of this actually to blend this in together of like a darker color and just set it to multiply or overlay. We'll set it to overlay and have it look like that. Okay, so we got the background looking cool. Um, I want a Trapper Keeper logo. Trapper Keeper logo. Trapper Keeper. This is going to be like a terrible JPEG. Save image to downloads. Sure. And then we're going to toss this to the top. Invert it. Oh, it's actually not the worst thing in the world, so that's good. We'll toss this in the bottom right-hand corner like this. Trapper Keeper. Great. Okay. Now the question is, how can we make this other stuff emulate that 90s style? Answer, not 100% certain. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a couple things. I kinda had this idea if this might work uh, the other day. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn this black layer on here. We have this black layer. I only want this black layer to affect the dark areas of this Thing. But I actually want it to be kind of choppy. So we're going to move this whole thing over like this. Dunk champ like that. Great. We're going to do the same thing with white. There. It's sort of blowing it out. It's posterizing it to a bit, but it's flattening it up a bit. Um, and we can change this to be whatever color we want. So we could lighten it up a little bit. So it blends in like that. I think that blends in actually pretty decently. So let's copy these and we can theoretically just paste this. I mean, theoretically, we can actually take this and apply it to just this group. And it's gonna do it to everything like that. Everything gets blended in then like that. Now that is way too blown out and I don't like it. The trophy, I don't care because it's just a trophy. So we'll put it on this trophy. So I put it on the trophy in the back on accident. Um, where's the trophy in the front? Is that this? Uh, gold ball. Let me pop open the stream to make sure we're still here. My last stream just like ended randomly. So that was super fun. Uh, didn't know that happened. So we'll adjust these accordingly. So the white is too much on this. So what we can do is we can go in here and just adjust it even more. And then there's not much black on this, but what is it? Oh, that doesn't look too bad, actually. Darkens up a bit, adds a little bit of separation. I think that's okay. So we're gonna go piece by piece here. And we're just gonna toss this onto individual things. So top left, OB top in. Let's get rid of, let's do the whites first. I'm gonna drag this out just a little bit. Like, I want it to be choppy, but I don't want it to be too choppy, if that makes sense. And there's a lot of black, because he's wearing a black jersey, so there might not be much getting around that. We'll do this. I'll just drop this down, kind of like that. And what we're actually going to do... So we're going to give this whole thing a stroke, which I hate doing. I'm just going to give it a stroke of two, and we're going to give it a stroke of whatever this black is. And we're going to give it a stroke of, like, two. I really don't want to, but I think that help, it's going to help sell what I'm trying to do here. Like you see here, I think that actually doesn't look too bad. I think these new, this new set is pretty decent. So let's toss this here, see how it looks on the front guy. Pretty decent. And then we'll toss a stroke around him as well. And there, now we have a Trapper Keeper design. And it's been 42 minutes, so good. Now we can mess around with this for another 45 minutes. Uh, let's pull up my bridge to Terabithia.
I know what we can add to. I don't know how we can add them, so that's a question that we're going to have to get answered. Um, stock images. Paper. There's a bunch of paper stuff. So Trapper Keeper is actually... We're going to say this is like a Trapper Keeper... We could try and mock it up on a Trapper Keeper, to be honest, actually. Trapper Keeper. So let's go to Bookmarks. Let's go to Advanced Google Image Search. Go to a Trapper Keeper. Let's see if we can find just like a photo. The best bet would be like an eBay auction. Or yeah, something from Walmart. This is actually what we're looking at. And as I said, it's by Mead. So let's... Open image in new tab. Go to this giant trapper keeper. Save image to downloads. Let's go here. We're gonna group all this cool stuff together. Group. Okay. Uh set. Save image to downloads. There it is. Weird. Alright, so we're going to toss the Trapper Keeper in here. We're going to go like this. Let's turn it sideways. So it's a pretty much a square. So we're actually going to make this composition 2500 by 2500. Just blow out the sides a little bit. Uh, we're going to give the background to be white so we can see what we're doing. Actually, no, we're going to make it black for now. We're going to make it black for now so I can cut out this Trapper Keeper. So clearly we're going to grab the pen tool and do select subject. Quick, quick select. select. It didn't work out too well, hold on. Just need to go down here, just give it a quick, quick edit on the quick select. It would actually be way easier if I just went here, did the mask or magic wand tool and selected white and inverted it. And that's probably pretty good. We can go ahead and refine it. So the magic wand tool, if you don't know how it works, basically looks at um, colors around your cursor based on what you specify. So you can do like nearest neighbor, you usually do like a five by seven square is what it looks at. And then it basically chooses between a, a range if it's going to select it or not. This is all gonna be fine. Um, I just want to smooth the crap out of this. Get rid of that. And get rid of that. And add that. Just hit enter because it's fine. Lexi, no worries. Um, I'm cutting out a Trapper Keeper right now. Because I'm a 90s baby. I'm technically an 80s baby. But not really. Um, let's see here. Selection, canvas. Let's center this. Let's dead center this. I think if we have like a, a crops trapper keeper actually wouldn't be too bad, but I kind of want to do like this. You know, I kind of want it to be on some sort of, some sort of thing, which is then why did I cut it out if we're just gonna put it on top? Uh, we're gonna duplicate this. We're gonna give this a color overlay of that color, it's just rudimentary. I'm gonna use my black shadow boo, 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 action, which did that. Okay, so that's fun. Um, what did that do? It made this. Basically gave me this, it just set up these motion blurs, but I want these motion blurs to be at 45 degree angle and I want it to be 30 pixels. And I want this to be at a 45 degree angle and I want this to be 60 pixels. Put the Trapper Keeper back. Put this down here like this. Set it to like 60%. 60%. It's got a little bit of a um, shadow now. But we're going to give it a much bigger shadow. 2000. Jesus Christ. Superstar. Now it's got a Trapper Keeper. It's coming from that end, which is a little funky, so maybe we'll do it from the other end. Um, but that's where like the light source is. Like you see this light hitting it there? I think that's where the light source is, so. Don't worry, we're gonna put this on an actual background of some sort. But now what we can do 
is we can do a couple things here. I'm trying to see how I can keep these shines on it. Okay, so we're gonna duplicate the Trapper Keeper. We're gonna get rid of that. I'm going to give this a gradient map. Gradient map. We're gonna put the white over here, the black over here. And what I really want is I just want this thing. I just want this highlight. See that highlight? I just want that. So I can get most of it by doing that, which is fine. So then we can just sort of convert this to a smart object. And then I can just go into here and then we'll just, you know, I can just add black down here, I guess. Just put a layer underneath and just add black. The Trapper Keeper logo can stay here. We have it on the other one, but we can get rid of it. Um, we can also just add it back whenever we want, so that's not a big deal. So this corner appears a little bit of it, a little bit of an issue. What we can do is we can add another gradient map, and then it does that. Um, but we want the highlights to still be there up at the top like that, but we want the grays to be gone. I should have just stolen you know, like these. I should have just taken these colors, you know? Uh, I'm gonna make this like a soft brush, set to like 40%, so I can really just kind of go in and generally do this. We'll see if I can mock this up on this Trapper Keeper. I think that'd look cool. You know, like people, so like, uh, I collect sports cards, so there's this, um, brand called Skybox, which came out in the 90s, which is cool, which Will Will Wiss, Will Wise uh, just made some cool ones of um, IO of the Bulls. Um, so people mock up cards like that, which is good and like great. It's like, I don't see people, I want to see people mock up stuff on a Trapper Keeper. I think that just, that's just kind of funny. All right, so we can save this and go back. And then we should have a black Trapper Keeper which is good. I want it to be set to, I want to set it to screen though eventually. So actually what I want to do is, I want to duplicate this to a new smart object. New smart object via copy. I want to hide this top one. So we're going to go back to our original one we have here. And so we've lost all the like fun stuff from the side here. So what we're going to do that's fine we want to go like this but i don't want it to be as harsh you know i want to be able to see all the edge stuff so that's good so we can see the edge stuff there we'll accentuate it a little bit like that hit okay great that's what we want uh then we're going to make another gradient map and this is going to basically put that black back where it was. Except we have this stupid green black that's not actual black that they put on there because they thought that was a good idea. Okay, so we'll go like that. We'll take this one and then we'll just get rid of it like this. We'll just put the edges back in but we're gonna keep it sort of blown out like that. And then we'll put another gradient on this subculture. And then we're gonna make, uh, we're gonna put just a random one in here like this, and we're gonna make it a medium gray. Ah, the issue though is we can't do that because it's black and white. So we can do, so I wanna lighten this up. So how can I lighten this up? So what we're gonna do is we're going to add, let me get rid of this gradient map. We're gonna add this, just a fill. I'm gonna group these all together. A fill, and I'm gonna set it to screen. It's gonna lighten up everything except for the Trapper Keeper. So then it looks like that. So then we have this Trapper Keeper sort of template, but not really. So when we throw this on there, I can set this to screen. And then it will trap or keep her on top of it, which is 
kind of what we want. Um, yes, but we want it to be, shoot, hold on. We want it to be clipped to it, so we'll go like that. So there, now it's clipped to the Trapper Keeper. Great. All right, so now we can make this whole thing like, I don't know, much smaller. We'll scale down and then scale back up to the Trapper Keeper size. The issue though, now I'm thinking, well, we need something on the Trapper Keeper handle. So we'll put something over there. We're gonna slowly toss this up here. Like right there. So we're gonna tweak the whole thing so that edge is right there. So we need to move these guys around, which is completely fine. So let's label these guys. Oh, that's the, that's the background. We don't want the background. Uh, we'll put this big OB. I've been using all caps in my layering recently because I get annoyed when I have camel caps wrong. Uh, top. Top left OB and then bottom right OB. So I want to move bottom right OB over. I can't because I have something selected, so I need to go like that. There. All right, we're going to move them down. So like that. We'll just make them a little bit smaller. Let's do like 90. Basically, just don't want him to cross over that threshold. I think right there is good. Uh, the Trapper Keeper logo we can get rid of. I mean, we don't actually have to get rid of it. We're gonna put it where it should go. Come on, come on. Okay, now put him on a different team. Yeah, exactly. If only. If only. All right, we're gonna make the whole background of the Trapper Keeper part a little bit bigger. Mainly so it covers up the whole area like that. Perfect, great. Good, great, grand, wonderful. Okay, so then we're gonna mask this real quick. Um, because, ugh, gross. Yeah, I, I mentioned what a Trapper Keeper was before. So, us folks who grew up in the 1990s had these, which were Trapper Keepers. Um, it's basically a folder that closes. Like, it's like a binder that, that closes with Velcro. And it had, like, Lisa Frank stuff on it. You know, stuff like that. And then just everything 90s. So like this is a trapper this is a trapper keeper that's inspired by the 80s because it's a thing available now so it would hold your pencils and things so this is before you know everybody had tablets and stuff so we actually had to like use pen and paper it's a mini filing cabinet correct it's a good way of putting it it's for it's for us olds you know I'm not gonna call anyone old in the in the chat, but if Joe Johnson's in the chat, Joe knows what I'm talking about. Joe's old like me. So we're gonna have to put this like shadow back in. Okay, I'm doing this like a completely, the much easier way would be to do this. Bam, round corner, boom, there. Round corner, polygonal lasso tool. Start it here, scroll up a bunch. See, it's got that edge though. I don't think I have that edge down at the bottom. Sure. Get rid of the guide so I can see what's going on. See, the issue is I don't know what the original Trapper Keeper looks like. Let's toss that up here. Oh, it's got a, it's got a big old border to it. Okay, that's good to know. Um, 
But it's a nice shadow too, so we'll fix that. And actually, so we're setting this to screen, which we don't need to do. We can keep it normal actually, because we have this layer on top that's adding all these shines back in. So then it's not gonna be as faded. Uh, but what we can do is we can set this to screen, but then just go into this gradient map guy we got here and just make this a slightly darker black. And it's set to screen, it's just gonna make it slightly darker. And then when you screen, it'll just make it a little bit more apparent to what's going on. Okay, are we cutting this out? Yes, we're still cutting this out. What's up, Elijah? My nephew's name is Elijah. His name is Elijah Angus, you are my nephew. All right, we'll scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Go like this and just kind of have it meet. Meet me in the middle. Scroll up. Go here. Enter, delete. X, delete. D, O. Okay, this is, we can save, we can save. Oh, I should totally make that say top and keeper. Damn it. I have to do that now. Okay, it shouldn't be that difficult actually. So we're gonna do a uh, thousand, thousand. I need to turn this into a smart object or I'm gonna break it. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab a little T here. Boo, boo, boo. Scoob it a ba. Scoob it a do. T, great, got it. All right, got the T. T for top in. We'll grab the P for P for top in. Top in, top in, top in, top in, top in, top in, top in. Actually, I can grab both because they're right next to each other. That would actually be the smart thing to do. Double P. I'm actually gonna grab the A as well. Just put this right here. Uh, we're gonna go here. We're gonna grab the A. We're gonna duplicate it. We're gonna flip it around. Go like that. We're just gonna mass both of these. Okay, so for this one, I don't want the left-hand side. We're gonna get rid of the left-hand side. And on this one, we don't want the right-hand side, so we're gonna get rid of the right-hand side. Bam. That says uh, OPP, yeah, you know me, which is good. Um, we will grab the, we'll grab the E, thank you, wonderful E, we'll grab that, convert that to a smart object, toss it up here. Um, and then, you know, I think we'll just grab the A again. So I just want these to be all on the same baseline. We'll lower the T a little bit. We'll lower the Oppen a little bit. I don't know where the E is, it's over there. But we'll grab this. Put this right here. I mean, this is pretty much just like, it's just a rectangle. So like, I'll probably just draw a rectangle. rectangle look it's a black rectangle that's an eye now great um, 
So we're gonna duplicate that. Oop. Toss that up here. I want it to be the same X height, which is the top. Actually, sorry, that's not the X height. I lied. Put that over and we'll drag it over here. So it's the same spot. Move up the top a little bit and we'll move down the bottom a little bit. We'll take this E, top it over here, flip it over like this. Same X height. Go like this. Just mask out this dumb middle part. There, boom, Obi Toppin, got it. All right, so we got Toppin. Now we just need to Photoshop out this Trapper Keeper part. You know what I mean Photoshop? I mean just, I don't know, cut it out for now. Just mask it. Do this however you want, blah, blah, blah. Uh, mask, invert, bam. Toppin Keeper, bam. We did it. Um, I just want to go in here real quick though, because this is all way too close to the O. I'm just gonna move it over a little bit. Save, go back, go back, save. Ah crap, hold on, I can't do that. So we can just convert this to a smart object here. Copy it, delete it here, paste, invert it. And now it says top and keeper. Good idea, Elijah. Now we have it and it says top and keeper. Perfect. Um, let's go back to where we were doing. We got bottom right, top left, OB. I just want to be up more in this corner. Like that. And then gold ball and big OB. We're gonna move a little bit independently like this. Bottom right OB, we're gonna put down a little bit more like this. And then top OB, top left OB, we're gonna make a little bit larger. Now let's do 15% bigger. Perfect. Save, all right. This looks kinda cool. Hmm. You know what this needs to be on top of? There's a Formica pattern that I just found. Literally just found it immediately. Um, I want to use this. Nineties table top. I want a 90s tabletop pattern, but I don't want really 90s. I want 90s for mica. I want something that is from the 1990s. I want this pattern, and it looks like this. This is what the pattern, oh. See, that's nice. This like pattern. It's like real actual photo of this pattern is awesome. I'm trying to think of something that would be super 90s. 1990s table pattern, you know? Just like with the top of a table, you know, like this would be good. Uh, what is, what is, what is Ambisani? That's just the, it's a brand, okay. <laughs> it's like, is that the pattern? No, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, 90s for Mica pattern. For Mica is a, a company that makes laminates. So this is like the laminate pattern I want. So I want this, but I want it to be repeatable and I don't think this is repeatable. Charcoal boomerang pattern, that's what I want. My whole computer's just like, yo dog, you don't want any of this smoke. So I can't find, okay, hold on. Save image to downloads, Photoshop. Uh, 
across this here. Can't see it. Makes sense. How small is this? Hold on. Okay, it's kind of small. Okay, so I'm gonna make it a little bit larger, like that. I turn this on. We're gonna group this stuff together. Group, hide. Okay, so how do we wanna do this? I think if I go like this, I mean, you can kind of tell, it's not really repeatable. But I think we can fake it. I mean, this is really what I need to do. Hold on. I need to just... I could do that. I haven't done that in forever. When I was first using Photoshop, I would make these really cool, intricate... Tessellations? I think is what they're called. I don't remember. But they look, they look really cool. Kooky and, and cool. We'll just do this. This will work. Uh, boom, bam, dead center. Turn this on, bam. Can't even tell. Uh, we'll just give this a little bit of a nix. Radiant Matt. I should probably make it a little bit lighter, but it's whatever. Okay, we'll do that. We'll keep it white and then we'll keep this orange and hit okay and see how this does absolutely. There it is. White, orange. I think I want blue to be more prominent, so we're gonna swap those around. Swap this up like this. Actually, the orange contrasts better with the Trapper Keeper like that, so I think we're gonna do that. actually worked better than I thought it would. Okay, so we need something for the top of the Trapper Keeper. Um, so what do we got here? Trapper Keeper. Trapper Keeper. So this one was just, oh, so actually this was just a continuation of that. So we can just do that. So we'll actually just Delete this layer mask. Delete this layer mask. Um, delete this layer mask. Put this layer mask back on like that. And then we just need to blow up the... Just move everything over like this. And just blow it up a little bit. Really what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make a Trapper Keeper that Gary V would love and use every day. And this is that Trapper Keeper. Oh, you know what we could do if we want to be super fancy? If we want to be super fancy. Um, crap, what I actually need to do, and I can put this anywhere. So I need to make a new layer go like this. I don't know where it needs to start though. Set that to multiply. I'll just turn this into its own group. See how this is like breaking there? That's better. Basically you just need to give this a, a shadow so it has the, so it looks real. Um, except I should have kept the already existing one we had. Because that would have been perfect. We'll just pull this up like this. We'll get that later. We'll just do it smart. We'll do it smart the first time, the second time. Like this. Uh, let me grab this guy. Where do I want to select? Let's see right there. Bam, bam. Okay. Up, drag, delay, drag, enter, enter, delete. Save. There. Right? Trapper Keeper. 
That looks fine, right? So I think what we can do to make it better actually is go to adjustments and we'll go to curves. What is it called? Curves. Um, We'll just boost this up a little bit. We're gonna mask it to that. We're gonna delete the layer mask, mask it to that. So then it should just be over there, except we're gonna flip that thing down and reverse it. We're gonna group that together. And then we're gonna mask this to the left, to the left, to everything you own in the box to the left. See there, that looks so much better now. A little bit of a highlight there. It's a little too intense. We'll drop it down slightly. And we're still streaming, which is good. This looks this looks stupid good. This is hilarious. I'm glad I made this. Like this is this is just this is a lot of fun. <laughs> Alright, so I want the background to be a little bit better. So I'm gonna darken up the reds like that. Uh darken, darken. Let's grab some of the yellows and we're gonna fold that up, darken that up. Let's go back to the beginning. Zoom out, boom, look at that. Proper keeper. Okay, what if we don't make this? What if we set this to normal? Might set it to normal. Cause that looks way better. Which means we don't even need, we technically don't even need this back layer right here. But I like having this because of the texture on it. The texture we have on the outside. So let's set this to that. And is this set to screen still? This is set to normal. So let's set this to screen. And all it's going to do is it's going to give us more texture on the side, which is great. Okay. We got a couple issues like this. Like, what is that? You know, where's that coming from? I think it's on... It's gotta be in one of those. See, look at all this stuff we have open. Where's that coming from? Actually, real question. I think it's one of these back guys. I think it's this. Oh, it's the one on top. It's this right here. What is this coming from? Was oh, this masked? No, it's not masked. There's a mystery somewhere. There's a mystery something or other. Oh, you know what I bet it is? I bet it's a spare. Yeah, I was gonna say, I bet it's something like that. Where there's like some sort of tiny speck up here on Obi that I need to mask out like that. Disappear. Actually, I don't think I was close to his head enough. Hold on. Look, 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 look. There, that's better. Okay, good, great. Actually, what I want to do is I'm going to select OB, and I'm going to smooth it like five pixels and mask it. And it's just going to make the edge a lot cleaner than how it is. I think only that one's bad. But, like, look at this. Yeah, this, like, random strand there. This is why I hate putting strokes on players is because it really calls out this is where the pen tool people would be like that's why you use a pen tool it's because like i need to go in here and like mask out this i don't know half pixel this tiny translucent pixel that you can't even see but we know is there all right so this is the whole trapper keeper trapper keeper what I want to do now is take this, group this together. Come on. Design of the Trapper Keeper. And let's take this back guy. I'm going to set this. I don't know. I don't know what I want to set this file to. 
So here's what we're gonna do. I think this might work, but I'm probably wrong. We're gonna save this to my desktop and we're gonna save this as a gradient map file, sure. What if I just saved it as? Because what I wanna do is I wanna turn this into a smart object. And then I can go up to filter, distort, displace. I don't want to displace it horizontally. I only want to displace it vertically. So I'm not going to do zero and I'm going to do like five. Because we're going to use a displacement, displacement map. map. And we're going to grab that same displacement map. And really what I wanted to do is I really just wanted to mess up. Yeah, this right there. See that? That's where I wanted to mess up. But I need to move this up like a little bit, right? I need to move this up to like here. And then you see it should all line up. But I can't tell how jagged it is because I don't think I displaced it enough. So we're gonna do actually 10. We'll just double it and see what this looks like. Okay, now you can see where some lines are starting to hit. And then we just move this up back into place and it should be fine. Probably did nothing to the design. But if we zoom in here, you can see the edges here where they kind of follow. So I think that's what I wanted. Cool, save. I'm gonna take this top and crap, see? Now I need to go in here and edit it, but I can't see what I'm doing if I go in here and edit it. So I'm going to put the Trapper Keeper, the Top and Keeper logo down here. Just because it's too busy up there. We'll save. And then we'll go back to our design. This turned into like one hell of a design. Like this looks cool. Um, you know what would look cool here? Pens and pencils. Uh, in Vado.com. I'm not going to find one. I already know I'm not gonna find one on here. Pencil. Um, yep. I don't want a pencil though. I want a, like a pencil box. I want a pencil case. Do they have any pencil cases on here? Yeah, but I want a cool one from like the 90s. <laughs> pencil. I want a regular Ticonderoga pencil. I don't want it at this angle though, I want it from straight above and I don't think they're going to give me a straight above angle. Because they usually don't. Like none of these are technically straight above. They're all slightly to the side. Like see how that's slightly to the side? Download this angle. We're going to download it and try it anyway. Um, pencil. Yes, 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 top. Downloads. Pencil. Okay. Um, we need to figure out how large Trapper Keeper is. Which it says because this is a Walmart listing. I don't care. Take me to take me to your Walmart finds. Go to Walmart.com. Okay, so how large is this item? Uh, it's 11 and a quarter by 12. So it's 11 and a quarter tall, so it's 12 high. So uh, regular pencil height. Uh, inches, inches. Nine and three quarters, nine and nine, nine inches. Okay. Go over the pencil with eraser. We'll get rid of the background, save it, go back over. This should theoretically change like that. That's so way too big. So I'm gonna make it like 80%. That's about roughly the size of a pencil in terms of what we're looking at. I need to do a little bit of camera to it. It's not, it needs a little bit more contrast. I'm just gonna boost up the contrast a little bit and a little bit of the clarity and just hit enter. You guys don't need to see that, you know what that is. I do not want to boost the clarity because the clarity is going to make the whites whiter. I literally just want more contrast. And when I want more contrast, I want, I want more contrast. 
There. Okay. So we'll take this pencil, we'll rotate it a little bit. You know, just little hints, little hints of there's a, a pencil here. I didn't want to turn that into a smart object, I wanted to duplicate it. Pencil. Put a pencil in this corner. Like that. Great. I want a standard eraser. So then we'll just look up eraser. Ooh, a used eraser, even better. Uh, let's see if we can get a top view of this. It'll do. Okay, so then we got... Ah, oh, man, you know what would really make this It would really make this slap, and I think we might have just enough time to do it. If I hurry up. I'm gonna put this right there. Just trying to bounce out the corners a little bit. Just have a little fun little Easter egg in the corners. Can't even tell that's an eraser. It looks like just gum. Okay, um, Ethan, I think, has in his mega bundle. He has textures and he has stickers in here. See, I want like Lisa Frank stickers or something like that. Like the stickers on this would look sweet. But I don't know what I would put on them. I'm trying to think of like crap you would have. Like you would theoretically have like marker written on this, but I think we'll just keep it pristine because I'm running out of time for the stream. We're gonna go to adjustments. We're gonna add the general like Kodak on that. Set to like 50%, maybe 25. And let's instead just toss a really nice paper texture on it. What paper textures does Ethan have? I think these are all crumbled up. I don't want a crumbled up piece of paper. I want nice flat piece of paper. I want my paper texture I use on everything. What I think is this. And there. 90s Trapper Keeper design. There. Well, the only thing it's missing is um, it usually says mead up here in the corner. How big is this? I have a super large font, 45. It usually says mead up here in this corner and it says it in a really retro looking font. I don't know what the font is called. Do I have a mono font on here? I like how my fonts are showing up on this other side again. You guys can't see what I'm looking at. Um, Fonts.adobe.com. I want to search. I don't think the restaurant. I don't think the. Sorry, let me just search. I keep typing the wrong thing. All fonts. I want futuristic, which they have in here. It looks like that. I want to type in just the word mead. I want it lowercase. I want to download this family. Congratulations, you are now activated and on my computer. Ethnocentric. Eth ethno. Ethno. I'm signed in. Okay. Ethno. Well, it takes a second. Eth. Oh, I'm in monospace still. Hold on. All classified. Hey, Adobe Creative Cloud. I would like this font, please. Will you please activate this font? F no. Man, this is like the longest it's actually taken to do that. It usually does it pretty quickly. 
But hey, the stream's still on, so that's good, right? Yeah, you have activated fonts. I should get a notification saying that it has been activated. Um, boo -doo -boo. It's definitely not in here yet. It usually says meet. I was going to have it say BJD. It was going to be a nice little, little thing just for me. We'll use Euro style for now. Just make this a little bit smaller. Then go back in here. Go back to all classes. Go back here. Type in F, F no. Quit. Don't, don't save. Don't save. Don't save. I'm just quitting out of all the like smart objects I have open. Oops. Oh, did I hit F? There, okay. I'm really confused as to why that's taking six years to sync, right? Am I logged in? You know, Adobe account. Maybe it's like, hey guy, you gotta log in. You didn't log in. It thinks I'm logged in, but I'm not actually logged in. What do you guys think? Pretty solid so far? This turned into a cool little thing. Like this isn't something you see every day. And I didn't put a lens dirt on it. So we'll, we'll have to fix that. Oh, this is a web only font. Dang. We'll use good times heavy. Good. Stupid web only fonts. That's on me. I hate that they have web only fonts. Like you can only you're, you can use them on websites and stuff. So let's find let's find a better font real quick. Futuristic. I can change that. somewhere is it a web only font hold on hold on no it's literally just not working <laughs> I think it's what it is I think it's just literally just not working. And it's just like, nah, dog. But anyway, I'll get it to work after the stream's done, which is pretty much done now. Um, you know, I'll restart my computer and they'll be like, yeah, guy, you want this font? Why? You, what's taking you so long? Anyway, let me hide that. All right, there we go. We'll end there. Thank you guys for joining me for another lovely stream on this Tuesday. Um, I will get some critique videos up as soon as I can. Again, inundated with a lot of actual work to do so uh thanks for joining me here you guys have a lovely rest of your tuesday night uh, and i hope you enjoyed and picked something up how you can sort of mock something up like this yourself um and i think i you know really enjoyed making this really weird trapper keeper topping keeper <laughs> uh so you guys have a lovely rest of your day and i will see you guys next time if you guys want to join my discord there's a link over there on the right hand side if you want to join that i do critiques in there and you can talk to other designers basically get in my ear whenever you want so you guys have an awesome rest of your tuesday night